So what you want to do, hold down the Alt key and semicolon. Bring up your workspace. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and get the files. Okay, and then you see here, Kirk 1. That is like way too loud. Okay. All right, Kirk 2. And all I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to put these two files together in sequence. I'm going to show you how to, how to beat match it, how to get the temples just right. Okay, now, if you see up here, this little button here, this, this turns on your Elastic Audio. Okay, and you have, uh, without going in depth with Elastic Audio, you have four algorithms here. Okay, you got polyphonic, you got rhythmic, which is good for, you know, good for drums, uh, monophonic, which is good for uh, mono channels, you know, if you're recording, you know, just bass or guitar, vocals, etc. Very speed. That works like a tape player. You know, if you, uh, you know, speed it up, get the high pitch sound. If you slow it down, you get that really low pitch. You know, um, the, the pitch conforms to the tempo of the file. And um, your polyphonic, it's just your, your general all-purpose option there. So depending on what kind of file you have, that's going to determine which algorithm you're going to use here. So for this one, I'm going to use very speed. So now when this green button is selected, it's, it's actually these files. Let me deselect it real quick. Okay, this is uh, the, the normal tempo. Okay, now with this selected, it's going to conform to the tempo of my project. So let me bring up my transport window here. And I have 120 beats per minute. Let's leave it there for now. Let's leave it at 120 beats per minute. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay. See, it slowed it down. And then if I speed this up, 164. See what I'm saying? Speed up some more. Okay. Slow it down some more. So that's how that works. So we're going to let me just bring this back to 120 for now. Okay, so I'm going to take these files and I'm just going to drag them in. Okay, there it is. Now you can see when you drag it in from your workspace, your Elastic Audio is already turned on. Okay, so now when you play this, turn the volume down. <laughs> now when you play this, you have control of the speed. Okay, 95. Okay, bring it in some more. Real fast, you know what I mean? So, gives you full control of, of the tempo, of whatever tempo you're going to be working with. So let me go ahead and bring in this other sample, the Kirk 2. Alt semicolon to bring up my workspace. Kirk 2, just going to drag it to an empty spot here. Okay, just bring this up so you can see. Let's go ahead and play this. Okay, slow that down. Same thing. Slowed up style. I know they call it uh, nowadays, you know, chopped and screwed. But back in the days in Tampa, we called it slowed up style, slowed down style. That's how that's how we did it. Okay. Okay. So now both of these files are matched. Both of these files are matched to the tempo of the song. So when I play them both back together. See what I mean? And if I speed it up, okay. Then if I want to, you know, stretch this out some more, I'll take this, make sure it's selected, and can push Control D, stretch out the file. Yeah. And like I say, you can speed it up, slow it down. Whatever you want to do, just play around with it. Now. Here's the thing. We're going to do it. We're going to use a different algorithm. Okay. Instead of the very speed, we'll go to the polyphonic. Okay. Now, what that's going to do is it'll keep it at the slow tempo, but instead of the pitch being really low, it's going to keep the original pitch. But the only problem with that is sometimes it tends to sound a little bit distorted. That's why you have to make sure, um, you know, play around with the sample and make sure that it's, it's okay. Because when you do it like this, let's play it back. Oh, that actually sounds pretty good. Slow it down a little bit. 
there. And you can really hear it when it slowed down. I'll slow it down some more so you can hear it. You see what I mean? So it's always better to work in a faster tempo. And you won't really hear that because what that's doing is it's just stretching out the drums. It's stretching out the audio files and it's just making it sound, you know, kind of distorted. So now there's a way you can correct that, but it might not correct it as much as you would like. It, would, it all depends on the sample that you're using. So let me just play this back. Okay, and if you select the polyphonic algorithm there, you have this little window that pops up. Okay, and if you go to window and then left click and drag this. Let me just solo out this channel here. Or, okay. It'll try and correct it. So you don't get as much distortion. But like I said, it's you know, we're working at uh, 98 beats per minute. So something like this, this particular audio file, you know, polyphonic really isn't gonna be the best uh best thing to use for that. But let me let me stretch this out and see if we can possibly correct that. Yeah, see when it's faster you get less less of a, a choppy distorted sound. Okay. And like I said, that that's if you want to speed the song up but you want to keep the pitch, use the polyphonic. If you want to, you know, raise the pitch and lower the pitch, go ahead and go back to your very speed, both your files, play that. 177 down 134 okay so that'll control your pitch okay so that's basically how looping is looping is done and that's how you conform it to your tempo and then you know you can add some kicks add some snares hi-hats you know you can you can add a bunch of elements to this you know put another track on there and just start you know laying some laying some elements down and you know see what you can come up with so that's part one of the tutorial and part two we're gonna learn how to chop up the sample. I'm gonna chop it up real nice. Uh, we're gonna use Beat Detective, which is the event menu. Go down to Beat Detective, and this is an awesome, awesome plugin for um, with, that comes with Pro Tools. And uh, what this does, it analyzes the file and then it chops it up, and then you'll end up with like 30, 30, you know, different pieces of audio just from one little sample. You get your kick, you get your hi hat. Uh, etc. So we're going to go on to that next. See you in a minute.